Global citizenship education is really important at Bridget Dawn Academy. We use it to underpin a lot of our lessons in the school ethos. The senior management team have started to really embrace it right in the school improvement plan so that it's a focus that all teachers can can consider when they're planning. Um, the pupils are finding it really, really interesting, real life examples um, in their in their teacher in their learning. Um, so yeah, it's very important to the school. So we incorporate global citizenship into our lessons by having lesson plans that include the sustainable development goals and linking our lessons to the rights of the child. We also include it in our extracurricular clubs, um, for instance the Global Goals Group who do a lot of work in global citizenship um, including extra days like the S1 Leadership Day. We also have it um, in the extracurricular signposted for sustainable development goals that are being met and or being included and where their children's rights are being being met. We have um, lots of different events uh, related to global issues like Fair Trade Week um, and if there's something happening in the news, for instance the recent um, earthquake and tsunami, we could be t talking about that um, and what's happening, how that's impacting on people's lives in those countries. Um, in the wider school, so that's some of the wider school, we're also trying to get more teachers included in global citizenship, so encouraging other departments to get involved. We've got a shared area in the school um, drive where resources are put in so that it's easy for other subjects to access suitable resources for them so that they can be included in global citizenship without feeling like they have to rewrite all their lessons. I actually think of one pupil in particular, um, she was a girl who was really struggling with behaviour, getting into lots of fights and this was towards the end of S3, going into S4, we were wondering what she was going to do with her future, was she going to stay, was she going to make it to the end of S4 even and she started to get involved with the Global Goals group, an extracurricular group and she had, um, she arranged meetings, for instance with the Montgomery Development Education Centre, she um, she got really passionate about issues, particularly to do with rights and rights of the child. And she progressed so well with that and that confidence that um, only last year she organised a race for cancer research to raise money. Um, and she, she was the one who took ownership for that. She contacted the head teacher, did the risk assessment with the PE staff, um, got sponsorship forms organised, all the medals. Um, she ran that event and for somebody to go from not knowing what they're going to do to having that confidence going to primary schools um, and having that that um, enthusiasm for her learning that confidence is just incredible it's all come from learning for sustainability